December so a new vlog and I'm starting the month working so what day is it today it's Friday night and I'm doing my first casino job I know I did one in the summer that was the first one since before Covid um, and I don't think I was very good so I really hope that I remember what to do I'm actually going on a boat, so I've got to set off quite early. It's six o'clock. I don't usually leave for my casino jobs until a lot later, but this job, I think it might be a bit of a drag actually because I have to be there early because the boat sets sail. Do my casino job and then wait for the boat to come back into wherever it's coming back into don't feel i'm dressed up enough really but it's so cold right okay see you later so what better way to start a new vlog than with a trip to the theatre with some old friends and a young one <laughs> because I've just had the most amazing night. I can't quite believe what's happened. Oh look, Willy Wonka. Um, we, we went, Freddie and I went with some friends to see old friends because actually I know one of the stars, um, Joanna Ryder, and she directed the calendar Girls production that I was in. To see her, it was just amazing the show. But after, I don't really know what happened. I was in the pub with Lorraine, my friend. Her husband David and Freddie and their daughter Lily were. What were you doing? Well, Lily wants to get all the stage door autographs and wait for Joe. Like, right. To get her, like, the so Lorraine and I were in the pub, and then we got a message: come onto the stage. So we actually found ourselves on stage at the Gilgood after the show with all the stars of the show. It was insane. And Freddie was in tears because she met her. What do you want to say? I'm going to cry if I say it. Oh. I met Leah Samonga. <laughs> oh. oh my god. I was literally just like dying. Yeah. I'm so happy. It's been amazing. I don't know how I find myself in these um, situations, you know, like the other night, speaking to Hugh Grant, and then tonight I'm speaking to Leah Salon. I mean... Can I show you the picture? Yeah, we're going to show you the picture. Fair. It's me and Leah. Got proof, I'm not just making it up. <laughs> Yeah, but she but was, what a yeah, stop, like, that was very surreal. Yeah, she really was. We've just yeah, yeah. Grow, I've grown up on her voice. I know. Like, yeah, in the house. Well, me too. She's seventy. Yeah, yeah. And she looks amazing. She looks stunning. Yeah, stunning. I know. Me too. <laughs> I'm just having an uneventful day at home today. I'm cleaning, going to the supermarket, but my November flower delivery has just arrived, so I'll just show you that. These are uh, last month's flowers, actually, that have lasted. I think it's because the house is so cold. Not all of them. Obviously, that's a lot smaller bunch than they were. Look, I've also got these, which must be three weeks old. Again I've pruned them out and I keep trimming them so they get shorter and shorter but I'm sure they've lasted three weeks. Anyway I'll show you the new ones. So, I asked for a surprise this month so they've sent our florist's pick. So this is what they look like in the box sleeping. Look, shh your flowers are sleeping. So I'm just going to wake them up and then I'll show you. Look, so here's the flowers. This is when they're still in their sleepy state. Um, so I shall um, 
show them again in a few days when they've really bloomed and you will see the difference but they do look pretty and look this is the um, reed diffuser that Freddie bought for me for my birthday I'm at the prettiest restaurant I'm just going to show you um, let me show you Here's my friends! <laughs> I'm at the prettiest place. It's it doesn't look it pretty is. that it's like we're all pink, but that doesn't look pink in the background. It's really, really pink. pink. It's so pink. Look at the pink film box. <laughs> oh, I can't, I can't turn You're my the hand down. <laughs> What was that, Freddie? The worst blogger ever. Like, why don't you just turn it around? Oh, yeah, I always forget to do that. Hang on. done so far this month there's lots of gaps by the way um, and I think Freddie's right I think I am the world's worst blogger um, like in that restaurant I was halfway through showing you and telling you what I was doing and then I just stopped I obviously um, started drinking my cocktail and couldn't be bothered so today is Friday night and I'm doing another casino job I think this is why I haven't been vlogging because I've been quite busy this month doing these casino jobs I showed you the job on the boat which was horrendous I was supposed to do that the following week as well but I told him that I didn't want to go and do it it was too cold and I worked last night I'm working tonight it's a bit scary my new car hasn't got a sat nav and I'm all like I don't need a sat nav I can find my way anywhere so um yes yeah, so it's been a bit hairy coming home like after midnight and not really knowing which direction to drive in oh by the way those flowers were my December flowers not my November flowers so as I said I'm working tonight I'm working tomorrow night so I might vlog in the place tonight um, it depends if I'm late. I think that's why I haven't been vlogging as well because when I've got to these places because I haven't known where I'm going I've got there really late just as it's about to start and I've had to just start working straight away. So hopefully tonight I'm going to leave myself plenty of time and I'll be able to show you the venue. I went to Tesco yesterday just for some bits and pieces and noticed all the Christmas food and thought, blimey, I've really got to start thinking about that too. Uh, but I haven't had a chance to do that yet, so I really need to start getting myself a little bit more organised um, over this next couple of days. Can you see my lovely tree? Eee. Okay, so I'm just making my way back to the car at midnight and I'll be surprised if I don't get murdered when you see this horrible, horrible car park. Right. There's no gangs here. I thought there might be. This is the bit I don't like about the job. Right, level three. Uh, I think I'm here. Yes, level three. Ooh, a deserted multi-story at night. How scary. Hi, 
Okay, so it's now the 20th of December and, or is it the 21st, and I've finished work. I finished work the day before yesterday. Oh, Coco's here. Hello. Hello, Hello. darling. Hello. Mm -hmm. uh, Shoes. Um, yesterday I went and did with Phil to do all the food shopping. That's all done. I have... Um, bought all the presents I think I hope this video isn't too blurred because I when I looked back at the 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 last one it was really bad I think it was the lighting anyway so I'm finished work I'm all organized for Christmas and tonight I am hosting my work Christmas party so I'm just getting, um, just lighting the candles and um, actually I should be getting the food out, never mind the candles. That's typical me. So I must just sort some food out and they should be here any time. It's really early actually, it's only half past three. I thought they'd be coming at about six but they've obviously all finished work nice and early. Oh look at this handsome little boy. Look at his curly tummy. Oh, it's so curly. Is Gigi coming? No. Oh, he's got a curly tummy. It's the 22nd of December. So Friday, the Friday before Christmas. And today, I'm so excited. I've been looking forward to this day for ages. Um, because every year we have a family day out and it might just be going to the cinema but it's a day that we put aside um, and we always go out and, and do something nice and I've been desperate to see Darren Brown's unbelievable show but the tickets were quite expensive and I don't know if it's going to be any good he's not actually in it but he wrote the show but this morning um, I managed to get discounted tickets so we're going to see Darren Brown's unbelievable um, so I'm just going to I borrowed Freddie's car this morning because Phil was out last night he made himself scarce when I had my work party so I didn't have a car so I don't know why I'm telling you this I need to take Freddie's car back now and um, and then I shall see you later if I remember to film of course we're on our way to, well actually we're on our way to the restaurant first, we've um, split up from Phil and Coco, not on purpose, uh, but we're going to meet at the restaurant, but look at Carnaby Street, I'm just going to show you, I'm, so I'm just, just going to show you how lovely it is, but it's so busy. Second ago, oh, they weren't the changing colour. Oh, look at this! Oh. <laughs> this is Kingly Court. We're just waiting to get seated. Oh, we've just been joined by the lovely Coco and Phil. Yeah. 
Last night's show, unbelievable, I'll give it a 5 out of 10. I was really excited, I really, really wanted to see it and I didn't really like it. And at first I thought it was because I've seen too many, I've been to see Darren Brown three times and it's just been amazing. And uh, two years ago when Coco was 16 we went to New York and met this well, I'm sure it was a proper magician. I'm sure it was real magic. He was amazing. Steve Cohen, it was called. But it just, oh, I don't know. Some of the things they did were, no, actually, I didn't like it. And it really lacked the sparkle of, like, Darren Brown. He's just, and he wrote it. I mean, I suppose they were his illusions or whatever they're called. But it just wasn't the same at all without him delivering them. So yeah, so that was a bit of a thumbs down. Um, so today, like I said, I've been to the gym this morning and I'm doing something today, this is why I thought I'd vlog, because it's something that I never ever do. And I'm kind of having a, a cooking morning. Um, I'm making my vegetarian uh, Christmas dinner. So Phil will do the the meat and the veg and all that, but I'm vegetarian. Coco was vegetarian until this year. Um, so I'm making a nut roast. My mum usually does it, but my mum's been ill with COVID. Um, so I'm making my own. So I don't know what it's going to taste like. It's in the oven. And it looks good. And I've, I need to phone her because I know, because she does nut roast all the time for me, not loaf. Uh, but I'm sure at Christmas she says to slice it in half and put cranberries, but, well, cranberry sauce. But I had an idea. Um, I'm sure she said cranberries or apricot. I need to call her. So I found these apricots in the cupboard and they were used by May this year, June, July, August, September. So they're seven months out of date, but I tasted one and they're fine. They're a bit dried up, so I'm soaking them in brandy. Um, but before, so I might cut the nut loaf in half and put these in the middle, but I'm going to phone my mum first and check that that's okay. So whilst I'm waiting for the nut loaf to do, because the pan was dirty, and I always like to save on the washing out because I make such a mess. I thought I would make some chestnut soup. Now I'm making this up. I bought these yesterday in Waitrose to eat. And then when I looked at the back, I realised that, I, I mean, I think you can eat them. I did eat one or two. But there's a recipe on the back. It sounds delicious. It's for a pie. For a leek and chestnut pie but I haven't got any pastry and I'm not making pastry so I thought because Phil's not well I think he might have Covid um, he really went downhill last night when we were out he just went white and he's, he's still in bed now so I thought I would make some healthy homemade soup so I'm going I'm just making this up now so I um, I'm going to put a knob of butter in the pan. I won't fill the whole thing. I'm going to... Um, I've got garlic and leeks that I'm going to sauté. And then put the chestnuts and the stock. And maybe some milk, because I do um, a nut soup and I have milk in it. So I'm going to do this now, I'll let you know what it tastes like and then when I've done this, I'm doing even more cooking, I am making, I've kept the, I've kept the um, 
recipe is from HelloFresh, which is fantastic, but I'll talk about that another time. And this is a sweet potato and butter bean stew. So I'm going to do this as well. So that's three things all at the same time. So I dread to think what this cut. Oh, that's my that's my nut loaf. I'll show you. I dread to think what this kitchen will look like at the end of it. Let's see. Oh, well that looks good and it smells good. Um. So it said half an, an hour, I've put it in for 25 minutes, so I'm just going to pop it in for another five whilst I put that in for another five minutes whilst I call my mum and check that I'm not going to poison myself with these seven month out of date apricots. I've started to not take too much notice of the dates. Oh, that's my... Right, this is the leeks and the garlic going in there, all over the place. I don't like cooking. I'm so organised this year. I've even wrapped the presents. I've got a few to wrap. But I don't know why I'm so organised. Because I have been quite busy, but... Um, that's what they say, isn't it? If you want something done, ask a busy woman. Oh God, I've just called my mum and I was supposed to put, this is it, I was supposed to put half the mixture in. What? Then put the mouldy apricots or cranberries on and then put the second half of the mixture on. She said if I try and slice it, it's just gonna crumble and it won't work. So I'm going to let it cool, I'm going to tip it out, and then I'm going to put um, cranberry sauce on, which will be sticky. What is wrong with you? Um, and then um, lay the apricots over. Okay, the nut roast is still cooling. And I've made my soup. Oh, it's delicious. Mmm. It's so nice. Wow, what a surprise. I put cinnamon in. I'm just going to put a bit more in. Because I thought that sounded wintry. Chestnut and cinnamon. Mmm, that's so nice. Oh, I must remember what I put in it and write it down. Oh, look, I've just found a, a whole chestnut. That's because my blender is one of these really cheap. It's not very good. But I quite like that. I like finding bits in it, surprises in it. Oh, that's so nice. Okay. So here's the finished nut, nut loaf. I've cut it into four. I'm going to freeze these two bits. That's why I haven't put the topping on that. But this is apricot and chestnut topping. Hello again. I haven't vlogged for over a week, I think. So Christmas Eve, Phil was ill. Coco was working, so Freddie and I went to a party. My friend has a party every year on Christmas Eve, which was lovely. And then Christmas, I was ill all over Christmas, but we still had a really nice time. It was just the four of us. We were supposed to come to Broadstairs on Boxing Day, but I wasn't well. So we finally came on the 29th, just Freddie and I. So today is the 31st, New Year's Eve. We're about to go back to London today, um, any time actually. And I don't have any plans at all for tonight. So for the first time in my life probably. Uh, but anyway, have a happy new year. Mm -hmm.